Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to share how to make um, teriyaki yaki udon. It's really, really simple. Um, I'll just uh, go through it and, and you guys will see as I go through it. Um, I think this will be a very good dish for people who want to try like a noodle but you know can't do a lot of spicy because I've been doing a lot of spicy noodle dishes. I th so I think this will be like a good um, dish for people who you know prefer something not spicy I guess. But yeah, enough talking, <laughs> let's start. So this dish um, I think it's really important. The key is to add a lot of um, vegetables over like um, meat, but I am adding fish cake and just some beef today. But I'm gonna start off with some oil, some cabbage, onion, mm. and then I'm going to add some red bell peppers. I want to add the green onions a little later because they cook very fast. Now add some zucchini or squash. Add them all together here. It's so easy. It's like really easy to make. I actually have two blocks of noodles in hot water or medium water. So um, once I put it in here and stir fry it, it wouldn't be overcooked. I mean, that's what I've been doing. I mean, I'm, I made my boyfriend try it. He said it was good. I like the I make a few heavy. Because I'm actually going to uh, White Sox game tonight. I don't know if I'm going to vlog, but really we'll see. Um, I don't know. I'm not into baseball. I don't, I don't know a single player on White Sox. I don't know a single player in baseball in general. <laughs> but uh, my boyfriend got free tickets and... I don't know, he thought it would be, it'll be fun for us to go together. So we are going tonight. I went to Walmart. Now I went to Target and I bought a couple shirts. <laughs> I am going to add my fish cake. You could add whatever you want. Okay. Yay, I love fish cake. I'm hungry. Okay, I think I should add the meat now. Just add some good beef. And you know, this is totally optional. I think this dish will taste as good even without all the meat. That's, um, that's actually what I did when I made it for my boyfriend and made him try it. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, they're cooking pretty fast, so let's open this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my noodles. Ooh! Flashing everywhere. Oh my gosh, that's so much. And look what I got. This is um, from Target. It's uh, Fresh Scent Hand Wipes. Mmm, it smells good. It says 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Now, I will add the rest of the green onions. Okay, and then I'm going to add like one, two, three, uh, four. Okay, and then going to add two oyster. One, two. Mm. 
Ja. Um. So hungry. So every um. So every time I'm filming, I take my dog to the the daycare or day camp, and I honestly don't know if he, if he likes it or if he doesn't. Like you know, they give us like a report card saying like he played with this dog and that dog, and he really enjoyed it. But like whenever I'm picking him up, he's like always howling. Like throughout the entire ride to home, he's howling at me, barking at me. So I'm like. I don't know if he's like telling me that he wants to go back or like if he's yelling at me saying like why the hell did you take me there so I don't know like I mean when I'm dropping him off he does he kind of goes in even he doesn't even look back at me so I'm thinking he likes it but at the same time like, I honestly don't know I mean he should he gets to play with other dogs so just gonna try it to see if uh, it tastes good. I think. Mmm, perfect. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so I think they are all really good right now. And then I'm going to add some mayo. Going to add some mayo. This is like totally optional, but I actually tried it with mayo and it was really good. So, and that's the mayo. And then I'm going to add the fish flakes or bonito flakes. This is um, leftover from the takoyaki thing I made. So I'm gonna. Ooh, that's so good. That looks so good. Yum. Okay. And then I am going to add. The dried seaweed. Let's like sprinkle it, not too much. Oh my god, this looks so amazing. So hungry. Yummy, 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 yum. Just a little bit more. Okay. Today I have um, shake the right the rice water. Trying to get rid of it. So that's what I'm drinking today. It's closer to me. Mm. Okay, let's dig in. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I was so hungry. Meat tastes perfect too. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Some green onions. I hope it's cooked. I love green onions. I don't mind it raw.
I feel like I haven't had something this, I guess, successful or good for a while because the corn dog was more of an experiment. Um, and then the one before today was um, just tasting different bread spreads. And you know, some of them are good, some of them were not that great. I know a lot of people don't like it. Or they say it's kind of getting annoying whenever I go like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but sometimes I really can't help it because it's so good. And I bet you if you sit here like me and try this, you'll do the same thing because this is so delicious. Either that or you probably don't appreciate food as much as I do. You know, some people really don't care about food. I feel like, I don't know. My boyfriend kind of like that. Like he eats a lot. But I feel like he doesn't really have a preference. I don't know. I feel like I kind of like overdid like my blush. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a clown right now. It's okay. <laughs> Whatever. My food tastes good. One thing, I know like, you know, there are some people out there who doesn't understand like why people watch these kind of shows because, you know, like, it can get, it can look, it can get annoying. Like, some people still tell me like stop chewing so loud. Like I honestly I don't chew loud, but um, my pic my microphone is just picking up that like that sound even when my mouth is closed. Like you know, and people think so. Like here's the difference. Some people eat like this. I think I used to do that a lot in the in one of my um beginning videos like my first videos because I thought people would be okay hearing it like I don't eat like that I never ate like that before but I purposely did it because I didn't mind hearing it and I thought that's what people would prefer hearing but I heard so many comments like this is really annoying I can't stand it so I'm like okay well I'll just eat the way I do but I watched um, a couple other um, mukbang youtubers like the Korean ones and I really like it when I hear this. Like, I personally really like hearing that. I don't know why. It's better than like... That gets really, really annoying and I understand. I get it. But so I want... I kind of want people to understand like... When they tell me you're chewing too loud, I'm not really chewing too loud. Like, my microphone is just picking up really good sounds. And I am doing that on purpose. <laughs> you know, I feel like if I put sriracha in here, it would be really good. The cooking sound, I'm sorry about that, it's from this grill. It's kind of old. Mm -hmm. I guess the racha sauce. Alright. Alright. You know what, before I do that, i ask you guys what I should talk about. Okay, I just posted a photo on Instagram. I'm just waiting. Okay, so let's get some noodles. 
on here. And again, I want to thank everyone who's um, supporting uh, my other channel, the one with my boyfriend. It's called Daylog, and I really want to thank everyone who's been really supportive. And they, you guys, how, how you guys tell me, you guys are like literally tearing because you guys are laughing so much, and I really, really appreciate that. So thank you guys. Okay, I put some sriracha on here. Mmm. Oh my god. It tastes amazing. Daniel Tustin um, asked me to talk about embarrassing stories. Embarrassing stories. I was embarrassed a lot. I don't know. When I was young, I used to be embarrassed a lot, but now like, I don't know. I'm like, whatever, but, oh my god, another thing, okay, it's not, I don't know if it's embarrassing, but it was more of like embarrassing, kind of gross, mm. so, I used to really, so this was in high school, I used to really like this track jacket, this like, um, kind of looks like Adidas, but it's not, but it was like white, and it had like white strip, white stripe on each side of my arm, and I really really liked that and I was and uh, it was that homecoming week and we were doing a parade and I really wanted to wear that and I wore it and this is when um, my parents and I first got our shih tzu um, and she was still a puppy right and then it was like that and the whole thing happening and that morning I'm like okay I'm gonna wear my favorite jacket and I went to school and throughout the entire day, I was smelling of something really, really disgusting. So I, throughout the entire day, I had been smelling this really stinky, I don't know, something weird. It was something, I was smelling something. I didn't know what it really was. And I asked my friends, like, you know, they're like teachers, and they're like, do you guys smell this thing? I've been smelling it all day. And they're like, no, we don't. I'm like, okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe like I was smelled, like maybe I smelled. And but at the end of the day, when I took the jacket off, I noticed that there was like a yellow stain on my jacket. I don't know how I didn't notice. And I looked at it, I'm like, oh my god, my dog peed on here. I don't know, I just don't understand how no one noticed because it was literally like a yellow stain on my white jacket and nobody noticed. I'm like, okay, well, like, I, 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 know, I just, I never really thought of my dog coming. I don't even know how she got on here. Maybe my jacket was on the ground and she decided to pee there out of everything. <laughs> but um, yeah, my dog peed on it and nobody knew. And I thought it was kind of embarrassing because when I realized that was my dog's pee, like my friends were there, like, "Ew, you're wearing a you know jacket that your dog peed on." Like, you know, you're so gross, and blah blah blah. But I don't think I was embarrassed. I just kind of felt stupid, I guess. I know, sorry, that's not very embarrassing. Um, Akimo T, um, she asked me to talk about my first kiss. Sorry, time. Um, my first kiss was at a beach. So when I my first I guess kiss was at a beach, like like lip to lip but we didn't like french kiss or anything like that but um yeah i was at a beach and i was like oh this is kind of nice like on the beach and you know that's just kind of what i expected and after that you know like you know after like that lip to lip you kind of like make out and i i don't even know it's disgusting but i think i was like a really sloppy kisser i didn't know no one taught me how to kiss like my boyfriend didn't teach me i don't know he just went along with it and i think now i remember now i think about it i was a very very sloppy kisser which is eh, disgusting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely add some fish cakes this is so good mm. Miss Fit Mofo <laughs> asked me how you adjusted to American food after moving from Korea. Um, I it didn't take me very long. I think it took me like a couple of days because I think I told you guys before. But the first meal I ever had in America was Old Country Buffet. 
I think I told you guys this already. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have something in my finger. Anyways. And that was like the most delicious food ever, I ever, ever tasted. This is, that's why like I told you guys that I gained so much weight, whatever. But I, it didn't take me very, very long to adjust to American food. Because I, I think I was at the age where I was like more, I think I was at the age where I was kind of like okay with any kind of food. I don't know. Maybe I just like food like all my life. I don't know. But um, one thing I noticed uh, even at the age, one thing that I noticed was American foods are very, very salty. I tried Doritos before. I think we went to Walmart. And then uh, we were picking out like some chips that we wanted to try out. And we tried our Doritos. I'm like, oh my god, this is the saltiest thing ever. This is like, everything's made of salt. I just didn't understand why people would eat it. And so, you know, I was like, I don't, you know, I don't want, I don't want any American chips. I don't want it. And... I think a couple years after, I retried it. I think I was at a party or something, like a, you know, like a kinder, not kindergarten, but like, you know, a party, like a, where people play video games and we ride bikes, that kind of party. And I tried Doritos, I'm like, this is so good. And I realized that within a couple, like, probably like even before, but within that time, I, you know, adjusted to American food, as in my, I like my food saltier. <laughs> Oh, my honey with two, three Y's um, asked me, since it's finals week for her, so good luck to you. <laughs> Maybe talk about your experience with finals, like if you did anything crazy things to stay up or so on. Um, I don't think I ever did. I mean, I drank a lot of coffee, but there was actually one time. So one of my ex, I'm not going to say who, but he was uh, prescribed for ADHD. He was prescribed for ADHD, I think that's right. So I don't even know why, but he was so he had those like pills that helps you focus better and i took that oh my gosh i did not sleep i i think i took one pill and like because it was my first time trying it like it was so effective i was not hungry i didn't even drink i didn't eat i didn't sleep for i think over a day or two and um it really did help me study very well for that exam but i decided not to take it after because it just i don't know it was i just felt wrong I just felt wrong because you know I should be sleeping I should be eating but I felt like something else was controlling me so I just stopped taking it after so I did like besides that exam uh, other ones I did pretty bad but um yeah I think that's the only thing like crazy thing I did but I know a lot of people do more stuff but I honestly um honestly I don't think you should I don't think I don't recommend it just because I think this is what I learned in college to do good and on exams any kind of exams listen in lecture like you have to listen and try to actually learn it within that 30 to like 40 50 minute of class you don't have to relearn it yourself when you're studying for an exam this is like one huge thing that I mean you know like I wish I did better at because like during class, I was like texting, I'd be on my like laptop, I'd rather listen, I'd be sleeping. So like, but what's the point of being there if you're not even gonna learn? Because if you do pay attention, if you do learn things in that class, um, I think you wouldn't have to study that hard on the exam. I don't think you should, you need to study that hard for your exam because you already know. You just kind of because my teachers always tell me exams are reviews. Exams shouldn't be something that you are re like learning for the first time it should be something you learn before and you're kind of reviewing it to prepare to you know, take for the you know to prepare for the exam or whatever yeah which is very very true but i know some professors are like they don't some stuff they don't recover in class but they expect you to know it because you're supposed to read like the textbooks and all those are a little different this is where like that's why you have to really get to your you this is where you really have to get to know your professors so like your first exam is always like your test exam you gotta know like uh, what your teachers are, what kind of teacher, what kind of exams they kind of use, you know, is this a person, is this a teacher who used whatever he talked about in class, or is he the t teacher who used, like, even, you don't have to go to class, but as long as you read the book, you'll be doing fine, you know, so you could, there's something like, 
you kind of have to like pick up as you're in like school. <laughs> Someone said, Rim Private? She asked me to talk about horses. <laughs> it's so random. But I do have, I, I actually can't talk about horses because when I was in college, um, I took, you know, I took um, this class where we got to train like the horses and stuff. Um, which was very, very just like really laid back class. And my horse, I, well, I was with the partner and our horse that we were um, training was um, her name. I think it was her name was Daisy. It was really, you know, really, really pretty. I was say, so funny, like the reason why, but that, you know, that class was really good. I love that class, you know, like the teacher is really cool, but it's so funny. Um, I took a lot of animal classes. I took a lot of animal science classes and, um, like me and my friends always talk about how like, you know that you know they're like teachers for like you know who's so they're teachers, um uh, for with, with animal sciences. I'm not sure if anyone is watching that is from U of I and they are in animal sciences. I'm not sure, but um, a lot of the teachers that teaches um so if the horse the the, the horse class that I took, the teacher he's really tall and he actually kind of looks like a horse. Like or like he's like really just he's a really tall guy kind of like reminds you of a horse like, and there's this um teacher he's like really petite and like really skinny and like scrawny guy and he teaches um poultry and we were like oh my god he kind of looks like a chicken <laughs> but and it's a really really mean thing to say but you know it's just like a friend talk you know this is what we talk about after class and there was this other um, teacher who taught like a reproductive I think he taught um he taught like a pig class. He like he took us to like a pig farm and he taught us um like a reproductive on like pigs, like a reproductive system with pigs and he kind of like reminds you he didn't actually look like a pig, but he really reminded like the color of his skin like he really reminded us of a pig. And what else is there? I think that was it. Oh, and then there's another teacher who taught sheep. We had a sheep class. Oh my god, I love sheep. They're so cute. But um, he kind of, he had a white hair. He's like really kind of chubby. He had kind of like bigger belly, like overall. Like he's like overall kind of chubby, but his belly was kind of really rounded. And he had like his white hair. <laughs> it really reminds you of a sheep. I don't know, it's the funniest thing ever. I, I love all the teachers. They're so chill. They're so nice. They're laid back. And yeah, I, I feel like taking like... People you meet through animal science or anything animal, they're really compassionate. This is that's like one of the reasons why I got into that field. Let's see. Mm. How's apartment life? It's pretty good. It's actually really really good. Um, I actually kind of feel bad for my neighbors because I'm, I'm noisy. Like, I'm, like, I drop a lot of things, <laughs> um, and I vacuum a lot. So, my apartment is all wood floor, and, you know, like, it's, I vacuum a lot because my dog sheds a lot, like a lot, like a little too much. Like I would tell people not to get some oil if you can't handle all the shedding. And this one article lied to me about it. They're like, oh, they barely shed. Like they shed like once a year. And when they do shed like a couple times a year, that's like so much, but they're consistently shedding. But anyways, because I see if it was carpet, you know, I wouldn't catch all those hairs as well. But because it's like dark wood floor, I see hair everywhere. So I vacuum at least like three to four times a day. So I'm very loud. Very loud. And I, I think our apartment has like a quiet hour, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. That's like the quiet hour. So, you know, obviously I don't vacuum during, during that time. But as soon as it's like it's 7 o'clock, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to vacuum. Because I woke, wake up a little earlier and I can't stand looking at this hair. Like, you know, like, but for me, you know, but like if I'm not saying like don't get him because he's shedding. But I'm, I'm just saying like if you can't handle it, don't get it. Because it's not good for the dog. It's not good for you. But um, 
I love my dog more than like I can. I'm able to handle it. You know, I like cleaning. Uh, I don't mind brushing him every day. I don't mind like, spending a little bit more money on him so he can be more groomed better than spending on myself. So I'm not. I know I'm complaining, but I'm not really complaining because I don't mind. I can do it. But um, as in like apartment life, I just feel 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 bad for my neighbors, and I really hope that like. They don't really hear me very well because I vacuum a lot. I drop a lot of things. My dog barks a lot. We play me and him like run around the house. So I feel bad. But um, but when it's when it hits like ten o'clock, I'm like dead. We're like me, my dog, and my boyfriend. We're in bed by like nine thirty. So that we keep our like you know like rules straight. But um, in general, though, we're pretty like noisy. I think. If you guys saw my, like, the full clip, full video of our challenges on Daylog, you guys noticed that, like, me and my boyfriend are pretty loud. Like, more me, I know. Like, I scream, I laugh loud, and that can be really annoying. So imagine, like, if my neighbors can hear it, you know, and how annoying they're going to be. And I feel bad. But that doesn't mean, like, I'm not going to have fun or... And when I was looking at apartments, that was like the one big thing that I needed. Oh, okay. So, when I was looking for an apartment, the first apartment that I ever moved out to, it was a total fail. I hated that place. It was cute, but it just it didn't meet my needs and I didn't really think about it. And Because I, I told you, I was so in rush of leaving my parents' house. But... This time, you know, I was able to kind of um, really uh, take my time and look into apartments. And this apartment fits everything because because um, I needed a balcony, I needed a um, wooden floor, and I are and I had to make sure if the soundproof was there. I guess I don't, is that how you say that? I don't know. Like, I just, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, I just didn't want to hear my neighbor, and I don't want them to hear me. That's, like, another big thing. And I needed a pretty big window for my filming. And I think that was, like, my main thing. And, like, it's, you know, pet-friendly. And when I thought about it, everything was all about my dog. Like, I needed those things because of my dog. Like, I didn't want people to hear my dog. I didn't... Uh, I need um I the reason why I really want a balcony is because my dog gets overheated really fast because you guys know he's really fluffy and he's a winter dog, so he gets overheated a lot and that's why my apartment is always cool, and um like too cool like it's actually really cold, um but I needed a balcony because at night or even during winter my dog can kind of just like lay down there and chill um i left his bed there i mean his bed is outside he never uses it when he's like it's indoors but when it's outdoor he can actually use it because even when he's on the bed he doesn't get like overheated um so i really like that like my balcony is basically my dog's like house my dog's room i don't know the, that's the reason why i really needed a balcony wooden floor because you know like I told you guys he if it's carpet he will like scratch the crap out of it and it'll he will he will damage. Did I tell you like there's an apartment um my boyfriend was at and my dog was kind of raised there and he scratched the crap out of that place and we had we owed them like a thousand bucks I think. Yeah, we have to pay the apartment like a thousand dollars too so they can replace the um, repair the um, carpet. And like shedding too and like peeing. Because I'm so happy and I'm so proud of my dog right now because he, okay, he peed like once and pooped once in this house. But he doesn't do that, like never do it again. Like he always, I don't know, he's like, that was like another thing I was really worried about. Like I didn't want to keep peeing. Because if, like, dogs pee on the carpet, you know, you can... It's not very noticeable. And, like, even if after damage, because they're... Like, the damage starts from the bottom, and you don't really notice the damage until it gets pretty bad. But with the wooden floors, you know, like, the thing about them is they kind of bubble up, or they kind of get... They run. 
So and it's I think from what I know it costs more to repair the wooden floor than carpet floor. So that's one thing I was actually worried about. But he doesn't pee, he doesn't poo, and I actually he he makes sure that he does it outside. So I take him out more often. Um, and it's so cute. Like whenever he needs to go, he like sits by the um, our front door, and um. I have a little like a box there next to the door with his like leash and his towels and all of his toys in there. He like kind of looks like smells and he looks at me and like oh my god he needs to pee so I take him out. So that's so I'm so I'm, I'm very proud of that. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Um, please check out my other channel with my boyfriend. Uh, we will be doing a lot of challenges and vlogging there, so check that out. It's more entertaining than this sometimes. I will come back Friday with another recipe, so I'll see you guys then. Bye!